Welcome, Bridgewater. I love you. I formed Bridgewater in 1975. When I began, all I wanted was meaningful work and meaningful relationships. I came across Ray Dalio in 1977, and we pursued our dream. I was part of the generation at the very beginning when we crashed. So for me, seeing what my friend Ray and all of the people had built, and the small part that I had a long, long time ago when Ray and I were just two young kids, very moving for me. And we got to know all these money managers and Ray started asking the question. He said, you know, we're, we're telling all these people how to manage money. Why can't we do this ourselves? And one thing led to another. And you know, our first client was the World Bank in the mid 1980s. And from that point, the rest was history. And can you imagine that the World Bank give us $5 million to manage? This is our ragtag group. They give us $5 million to manage. When I started, we had nothing. We shared a desk, we shared a computer, and we shared a cardboard box as a filing cabinet. We got a call from the US Treasury to come down to Washington and talk to them about inflation index bonds. We were five minutes late and they had locked the doors and Ray just walks up and starts banging on the door. For me, this story still resonates um, as a kind of analogy for how we had to do things back then was sort of barge our way into things. We were turning this dream into a reality because we, in fact, had everything we absolutely needed. We had a small group of people who had a commitment and a passion just to do the right thing. When I got here, there were about 650 people, so maybe a third of what we have today. You could see the old Bridgewater was still a little bit there. It's kind of really growing from a small company to a larger company. What is, to me, the most important part is the people. Each dot represents a person who worked at Bridgewater by year. Everyone surrounds you here, and they're very involved in thinking about how you're feeling, that is supportive. Um, it's, it is like my second family. We have all formed a community. So this is what Bridgewater looks to me. You all have relationships with each other that are magical relationships. I felt like I was in my family's living room watching a family <laughs> video. Um, it just gave a deep appreciation for the people sitting next to me and on stage and how much we all love each other. We love each other, and we drive each other crazy. Right? And we drive each other crazy because of tough love. I've been trying hard to take in some of Ray's coaching, and it can be hard to understand. So the drawings like this, big circles, and, and then he's like, I don't understand why you don't understand. I faced this and said, I know this guy loves me. I know this is coming from deep care. And I took everything that I did and compared it to what was described in the principles. And I started to see the gift that he was really giving. I used to walk on Wall Street where people were not honest with me. And coming here, like, really changed my life. I was very shy, very withdrawn. And being at Bridgewater, I'm more outspoken. And I stand up for myself more, and I love that. What is it like? It's, it's humbling, and it's rewarding, and it's painful. Um, but it's great. We together as a community have been successful. 73 billion, give or take a few hundred million, is what we made for our clients. We're the number one firm out of 11,000 firms in one of the most competitive industries in the world. So that brings us to today. We face challenges together. And our reality is that I, with the help of a lot of great people, have been able to build a remarkable past, but have failed to build a sustainable future. And so it's going to require you all to be successful. And so I want to just read what I want for you. I want a community in which you always have the right and obligation to make sense of things. A real functioning idea meritocracy. I want to help you all struggle well and evolve to get the most out of life. But above all else, I want the great humanity that is Bridgewater. For me, it's a dream come true. For other people, maybe it's what the future holds. Meaningful work, meaningful relationships. They feed each other. It's the greatest riches that one could have.